this week on 3 Music News, we reported that Becca is signed to Xylophone Media. Yep. She was once managed by Kiki Banson, who's one of the mm. biggest pioneers when it comes to music in Ghana, yeah. and then moved to Colophonic, and now Xylophone. Colophonic like Xylophone. I think she has a thing for, for phones, the phone, 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 you know. Yeah. <laughs> Xylophone Media, an entertainment company, has unveiled songstress Becca at a brief ceremony at the company's premises in East Lagos. The three-year deal is expected to put Becca on the path to more international recognition, among other benefits. The Nawash singer was formally signed onto Colophonic, a new Pan-African record label established by international music a &R veteran Yoel Keenan. All right, so wh what do you think about that, Joey? Um, I mean, Becca is a very, like, super duper artist. Like, I mean, look at her body, too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> ah, exactly. Says a lot of body for you. Yeah, um, no, 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 I mean, come on. I mean, the, mu the music is great. Yeah. I mean, we all love Becca, so, and apparently Xylophone is huge. Looking like yeah, the it's biggest popping. label. Apparently is it, so. Is it a label? It's um. It's a multimedia it's house. It's a multimedia house that signs up um, a lot of talents because I hear they sign yeah. up for models to yeah. um, actors to presenters to everybody. They must be doing a very good job because I don't hear things about people, but I'm hearing stuff about the xylophone. Yeah, a lot. yeah. Mm -hmm. That means. Are you with the label right yeah. now, or do you no, basically? No, I, I own my own everything. That's good. Like, World Records is mine. Okay. Yes, yeah. So basically, you're starting your own record label. We started from time. And yeah. you're going to be signing on people. I don't. I'll be helping people, not sign people. I'll just help you and just. When go. you mean helping, I don't it, understand. It might help groom and just, develop and. Um, if I have um, if I have a little help, say if, just the way you go to church and you do you do your offering and you do your. Okay. Work, charity. If yeah. I could do I could do charity through some artists. Yeah. If you blow up, just. Fine. It's for you. Yeah, I don't. So more in terms of like linking people. Yeah, yeah. Putting them um, in place, I, I'll, spaces I'll, they might I need. I think I would. I would like to, uh, like, put Ghanaian music out there because mm -hmm. I feel. Um, when people say like Nigerians are really taking over and stuff like that, I feel Nigerians work very hard. Ghanaians work yeah. hard too, but it's not really as Nigerians. And there's a thing in Ghana where, they. This one wants to stand alone. Yeah. You, know, you know what Nigerians are doing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? This yeah. one grabs this one. You go. This one, if... Um, who brought techno? Um, um, in, who carried yeah, that? Yeah, from Inyanya. Who brought whiskey? Yeah, who brought whiskey? whiskey. Um, Banky. Banky. Who yeah. brought yes. this? You know, it's, it's yeah. like it's a whole link. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So if, if we're not doing that, where are we going? The last time I was watching um, this One Africa was sad. Not because I'm not there. I, I don't mind if I'm not yeah. there or not. But the fact that... It's just soccer. I don't. I don't want that. I want to see. Yeah. We had Ifia. Yeah, but she didn't even get to perform. Oh yeah, there was, was late and everything. Uh, like I want. Yeah. To, I want to see play like Shatawa. I want to see like plenty of like. And we want to see you people. on it. Um, yeah. If I, if I happen to be there, I mean, glory be to God. But, but you yeah. are performing out of the country very soon. Yeah, I know you're going um, to Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a show in Canada um, on the thirtieth. It's like a little tour. Yeah. Basically, um, I. I also, you know, I think it's because I don't post too much pictures and all that. People, yeah. I don't really like, you know, tell people what I've been up to. But I, I was in tour in China. What? I was, yeah, yeah, I was in China. I was. When? Did, did you miss um, that? Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was, I didn't post nothing. Like, I'm just. Yes, starting okay, so to, talking about posting and talking about yeah. social media, what's up with you and your social media presence? I um, mean, you're an artist and yeah. a lot of people look up to you and you're supposed to be out there, but hey. Um, that's very true. Uh, I, you see, I'm I'm low key shy to be very honest with you. Like I, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I just like to, you know, be in my space. But very, it's very, very, very like very important for like an artist to like promote yourself through social media. Yeah. I'm starting to do that. I before I never even wanted to like I could I could be there and not post pictures for like a whole six months. Yeah. Like, yes. you know, not doing Yeah, we know that. <laughs> Check out his Instagram. Very well. It's you know very, what I mean? Yeah. You know. So I'm now starting to learn how to like really like you know, socialize with fans and talk with fans and everything. So no, I'll get there I guess. You should Ma, we missed you. Right. Uh, I think for you you've just got into a space where you just built your brand over time, like yeah. to such a point where even when you just like tweet out one link or tweet yeah, out a picture or whatever, like it gets to the right And everybody just goes, channel. hey, well, yeah, exactly. sure. Check stuff sure. out. 
I know uh, you're kind of starving us as fans, but I, I know, feel like we, I don't think you need to apologize. I feel like whenever you give us music or you give us visuals, it's of such good quality yeah. and it's so honest and so raw, especially with this project, yeah. Yeah. that we take it as it yeah, is and we love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't yeah. have it any other way, actually. <laughs> yeah. um, the thing is, um, speaking of you know this whole topic, and yeah. it boils down to like consistency. Yes. Um, one time yesterday or someone someone said to me, Oh man, Joey, if you're consistent then you like you rule forever. I don't like to I don't like to drop songs anyhow because yeah. I I don't like following trends. Yeah. And I I like to like um spend time with like, you know, sounds, you know. Yeah. I don't like to rush to drop music and all that. If it's good. That's the reason why if you check most mm. of the songs that I drop, they they turn out to be hit songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I yeah. spend, like, you, you and me, I mastered it over 13 times. Are you serious? Over 13 times. You can ask Groovy over 13 times. I'm sure he's, like, like pretty annoyed. <laughs> so, and he would say but so. But they're very, like, shout out to all of them, from um, North to um, Ultra Nova to yeah. Groovy. They're all very patient with me because when it comes to sound, I have to have it, like, correctly. You know, so I think that's, that kind of has a thing to do with, like, you know, starving you guys and all that. Yeah. But, yeah, I... 